holder. Well, my um hot comb holder. I'm so excited. I did get this from Amazon. Um, I'm thinking about leaving the link down below in the video description. But isn't it so cute? You can also plug it up. So you don't have to use your um you can you know plug your curlers up in here. So yeah, shout out to Amazon. What's up guys? So today I will be applying a 10 inch lace frontal curly wig bob from my wig line, which is exotic wigs by Jazz. So anyway, let's get right into it. I'm going to be using my Got To Be Free spray and my blow dryer, which I'm going to put on a low cool temp. And I'm going to get this dry and lay it down. And I'm going to come back to show y'all the next step. So these are the first two items you will need with your cap. Okay, y'all. So I'm about to go in and cut this off here. As y'all see. And of course, you want to be very careful when doing this. Sorry, I had to adjust my camera really quick. So I just want to go in and cut it. I'm not really fully dry, I'm trying to hurry up, so this will happen if you don't blow dry all the way and get it hard and then roll back up. So all you have to do is basically pull it back down. Now, guys, I'm about to go in with my foundation, and I'm just going to basically fill it out all the way around this cap. I'm just going to put this part all around this cap. Okay, and now I'm going to go in and apply my unit. And you want to go, you want to start with your elastic band if you have one. And you want to just make sure that's down. And then once that's down, just pull your wig as tight as possible see now I got that down okay so now I'm going to go in and apply my glue And then I'm going to cut the lights off, as y'all can see. Okay, so what I'm about to do is basically go in and spread this back. I'm going to do about two to three layers of this. And this is basically how you do this, as far as spreading it back.
Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's kind of clear. I really think that's a good thing. That's what you want it to be clear. Not want to lay your lace down while it's white. And what I'm going to do is, like I said, going up on another layer and I'm just going to dot it. Small dot. And I'm going to do that all the way around again. Okay, y'all, so this is the turnout. And of course, if you spray this hair, it comes down. So I'm just going to spray it. And as y'all can see, that's how it came out. So I'm really happy, and this hat is really. See how that side look? Excuse me. You see? I'm just gonna do the other side. And I basically, um, I'm sorry I'm rushing because I really gotta go. Um, I basically just went in with my flat iron. Not my flat iron, excuse me, my hot comb. So I can, you know, kind of lay flat where I want it to lay flat. Of course, if I spray that part, it's going to get curly. But it turned out really cute. And I'm just going to continue to spray um, my water and conditioner on this hair. And this is my outcome. my unit so hit me up thank you I'm gonna try to turn around in the back hold on this is side this is other side of course and then the back <laughs> knocking out stuff okay and this is the bed so yes this is the unit thanks for tuning in y'all so right now guys I'm actually cleaning this frontal I mean well not frontal but lace frontal wig sorry so this is how I clean it. I just basically use a toothbrush and some alcohol. As you can see. And I scrape it off. So, this is actually just the process of doing this. Nothing major. And you can also put shampoo on it if you would like. Um, that does help, um, I find. It does help it to come off a little faster as well. But as long as you scrub and don't like, you know, be going crazy on it, your lace will not break. And you see all that gunk, all that, all that um, glue coming off? That's good. And all you do after you get the glue off, it's basically, um, you know, you could choose to shampoo the front of the hair. Then after that, rinse it and then use conditioner of your choice. I do use Tresemme because it's good. And that's about it, you guys. So, just stay tuned on more videos on how to maintain your lace frontal wig and clean it correctly.
wig for a um, client that I have. So, um, I look rusty and crusty. I just wanted to come and show y'all kind of how it looks. And this is the frontal. And this is the hair that she provided. Actually, she provided her own hair. And I'm just making her a wig. And I will show y'all the other wig that I made using my hair that I sell. Um, I do have to um, customize this like as far as like styling and some curls in it for her. Um, another client. But this is a uh, frontal. I mean, not a frontal. This is a closure. Excuse me. So it just come from here to here. That's about it. And the rest, um, you see here, is lace it's here. And then after the lace, of course, it's the hair and the traps. So this is what a closure looks like. And yes, guys, she wanted a side part. But of course, with a closure, you can part it in the middle. And you can go on the other side as well. It's just on what the customer prefers. So, as y'all can see, this is the hair. This is before I go in and style it. And this is my body weight from Exotic Collection. So, yeah. And this is some hair that I stated that is not provided by me. But it is, uh, it was provided from the customer. And, yes. So, I do that option as far as making a wig and i do sell wigs so just make sure you guys contact me for any questions or concerns